Hello, this is Algebra 1, Topic 7-6. Uh, more practice with quadratic applications. So if you didn't quite understand it uh, in the previous lesson, 7-5, here you get a chance to just get some more practice with it. All right. So after being fouled, Shaquille O'Neal gets one shot from the free throw line. And we use this equation to figure out the height of the ball and the time in seconds. So how high is the ball for two seconds? Well, 5 times 2 minus 2 squared plus 4. Right, we're going to put that in our calculator. 5 times 2 uh, minus 2 squared plus 4 makes 10. So after 2 seconds, it has gone 10 meters. No, not meters. This is in feet. So after two seconds, that ball is 10 feet in the air. Okay. Uh, when is it going to be 12 feet in the air? Okay, so that means that 12 equals uh, 5t minus t squared plus 4. Uh, I want everything to be on the left-hand side because I want a positive t squared. So that means I'm going to subtract 5t add t squared and minus 4. So add t squared minus 5t minus 4. That gives me uh, t squared minus 5t plus 8 equals 0. Because Shaquille O'Neal, this whole plus 4 up here, is because Shaquille O'Neal is tossing it already from 4 feet up. So when he starts his throw, that ball is already four feet high, and so that's where that plus four came into, which is why this looks a little bit different. It's not the uh, 12 that we would have had yesterday. It's eight because this four has already been accounted for. All right, well, A is one, B is negative five, and C is eight. All right, so we use our quadratic formula negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. We want to use that quadratic formula. So uh, negative, negative 5 plus or minus the square root of negative 5 squared minus 4 times 1 times 8 all over 2 times 1. Well, we work that out a bit and we get that 5 plus or minus the square root of negative 7 all over 2. Well, because we have a negative sign right here, that means the ball will never get to, uh, to 12 feet. Because there's no solution, the answer is never. It never gets 12 feet high. Okay, So it gets 10 feet, but it never actually gets to um, 12. go ahead and figure out, well, if it never gets to 12, we want to know when does it hit the ground. Okay, So, we have that um, 5t uh, yeah. we have 5t minus t squared plus 4 equals 0. Let's go ahead and rearrange this just a little bit. Negative t plus uh, negative t squared plus 5t plus 4 equals 0. So I'm going to use, yesterday we used uh, factoring to solve for this. Um, you could use factoring to solve for this again, but instead I'm going to go ahead and um, 
just choose to uh, use uh, my quadratic formula. Well, a is negative 1, b is 5, and c is 4. Okay. So negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 5 squared minus 4 times negative 1 times 4 all over 2 times negative 1. So that gives me negative 5 plus or minus the square root of Forty-one all over negative two. Well, the square root of forty-one is roughly six point four. So we have negative five plus six point four all over negative two, and negative five minus six point four all over negative two. We plug these in. This gives us negative 0.7. This other one gives us 5.7. Well, we're looking at this and it hits the ground. Well, we can't hit the ground at a negative time frame. So when does it hit the ground? It hits the ground at 5.7 seconds. So Shaquille O'Neal is uh, shooting his basketball and he shoots it nice and slow because it takes almost six seconds from when it leaves his hand to when it hits the ground. Let's go ahead and work on problem number two. I'm not sure if Chris Brown uh, is for the Houston Texans, any Texans anymore, but this one person for the Houston Texans kicks off a ball um, at the start of the game, and we use this formula. Okay, well, we start on the ground, so that's why we're not adding over anything over here. We want to know how high is it going to be after three seconds. So 17 times 3 minus 4 times 3 squared is... Fifteen. So it is fifteen uh, meters high. Well, we know it hits fifteen meters high. We want to know now when will it be eight meters high. So that means that eight equals seventeen t minus four t squared. Do some rearranging by subtracting 17t and adding 4t squared. And that gives us 4t squared minus 17t plus 8 equals 0. Well, a is 4, b is negative 17, and c is 8. So negative, negative 17 plus or minus the square root of negative 17 squared minus 4 times 4 times 8 all over 2 times 4. So that makes a positive 17 plus or minus the square root of 161 all over 2 times 4 is 8. The square root of 161 is about 12.7. So 17 plus 12 uh, plus 12.7 all over 8. And 17 minus 12.7 all over 8. Gives me 3.7. And point Five, four. Okay. That's 3.71 and 0.54. So that's when the ball is 8 meters high. 
Well, when's it going to be 26 meters high? So, um, use the same formula, but when you want to uh, use the 26 instead of the 8, because this 8 was here. So 4t squared minus 17t plus 26 equals 0. A is still 4, B is still negative 17, and C is still 26. So we still have negative, seven, negative, negative 17 plus or minus the square root of negative 17 squared minus 4 times 4 times 26 all over 2 times 4. So we get a positive 17 plus or minus the square root of 127, but it's negative 127, all over 8. Because of the negative sign, there is no solution, which means that it will never be 26 meters high. All right, well, when does it come back to the ground? Well, uh, that would be 4t squared minus 17t equals 0. I can divide everything by t. So I have t and uh, 4t minus 17 equals 0. So t equals 0. And 4t minus 17 equals 0. If I add 17, I get that 4t equals 17. Divide by 4, and I get that t equals 4.25. And we know that this is when the ball was kicked, so this must be when the ball lands. Moving on to example number three. And there is no example three for this. It was just these two examples. I had an extra page tucked in for some reason. So uh, make sure when you're paying attention that if they already have something up here, that you uh, take that into account whenever you're working out your problem. Uh, if they don't, that means that we can use a few shortcuts. So, this is mostly like what you were doing the other day. Uh, maybe a couple of differences here or there. Uh, shouldn't be that big of a deal. Uh, good luck on your assignment and have a good day.